initiating Sweetheart Artificial Companion in three, two, one. All systems online, Vox. Good. All right, let's see what you can do, sweetheart. Can you blink for me? Oh. There we go. Good. How about moving those hands? Oh. All right, left one first. Do what I do. Raise your hand up. Oh. Move it down. Side to side. Good. Same with the next. Up. Down. Side to side. Good. Looks like your cognitivity is going good. So what about your speech? Can you say something for me, sweetheart? Mm, good. Your voice box sounds perfect. Might have to work on the functioning, though. Sounds like it's a little scratchy. Then again, it just could be because they're waking up. Huh? Uh-huh. No, no. I, uh, I'm not someone you should call your dad, but I am the person who created you. Oh. My name's Vox. I'm part of the three Bs here in hell. You're actually one of my new assistant companions. My other one was destroyed by Val. So you're going to be a replacement of sorts. Oh, oh what are you going to be for? Well, I haven't quite decided that yet, but I promise you it's nothing terrible. At least, not from what happened to the last one. Oh. Don't get scared now. You're going to stay right here until you're ready to be set loose. Oh. Besides, I still have to run diagnostics through your systems. Oh. It... <laughs> yeah, it's probably to be expected. Your legs are going to feel numb until I actually activate those. Oh. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. I'll get to them. Oh. It, I'm surprised at how well you're talking, actually. That's very much a good thing. Guess your voice box won't have to be needing as much of the diagnostic as I thought. Oh. Then again, it never hurts to just double check these things. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, don't worry. We'll work on it. Promise. But for now, why don't you just worry about tying those new gears out for the meantime. Oh. Yeah, of course. I can lower you down to try out and walk around for a little bit. Just don't touch anything. Oh. There you go. Oh. I'll just have some free reign while I run your diagnostic. Don't pull out any of those tubes just yet. Or the electrical plugs or wires or just anything that is attached to you at the moment. Oh. <laughs> oh. Don't worry. You're safe right here. Actually, stay here. I will be right back. Promise. Oh. Yes, yes, I promise I will be right back. Oh. Okay. Oh. All right, I'm back. Sorry, had to go get some coffee. I've been up for over, God, 13 hours. Oh. I need sleep. <laughs> Darling, I run solely on electricity throughout my entire body. You think I'm going to need sleep? Oh. I suppose you're right. Every person needs it, but I'm a sinner. I'm in hell. Not like I really need it. Oh. You're concerned for me. <laughs> Maybe I made your artificial intelligence too intelligent. But that's probably better since you are a companion. Oh. <laughs> I'll just call you sweetheart for now, if you're all right with that. Oh. Good. Oh. So, you'll stay here for a little while then? Oh. Sounds like a deal. Hey, all you husband hotel freaks. So, he decided I should try and do some voice editing and stuff like that, I guess. Um... Don't ask me how, but you know what? As long as I get to do some entertainment for you guys, I don't really give a care. But hope you guys enjoyed this episode for a voiceover, and we'll see you soon. Bye!